As chair of the African Union, South Africa initiated a coordinated Africa response that focused on addressing the immediate challenges to the public health systems in Africa and measures to mitigate the economic and humanitarian crisis. This included establishing a COVID-19 response fund and launching an African medical supplies platform to ensure all countries have access to the necessary equipment and supplies. The African Union has also developed a vaccine strategy for the continent and established a COVID-19 African Vaccine Acquisition Task Team, AVAT, in support of the African Vaccine Strategy. The task team is tasked to ensure that COVID-19 vaccines are available for Africa. Building on the call made by the Secretary General in April, the African Union has also called for a comprehensive economic stimulus package for Africa and the suspension of interest payments on Africa's external and public debt. Despite the progress made in cooperation and with many countries experiencing a second wave of the pandemic, global attention is now shifting to access to vaccines and their approval for use. There are fears that the richer countries of the globe may hoard vaccine stops, stocks despite earlier agreements and use intellectual property rights to block access to vaccines by developing countries. Vaccine nationalism is seen as a very real threat as it could create supply problems for poorer countries, thus denying their citizens access to what might be life-saving vaccines. Our African Union Commission and the African Center for Disease Control are giving close attention to this trend and seeking ways of ensuring all African countries enjoy access. Of course, defeating this virus still requires countries to collaborate with each other and to work with multilateral institutions to ensure that all people access the required health and medical interventions and that they benefit from economic and social measures required for a sustained response to the pandemic. 